What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Papa Jellybean. I am back. So what are we going to be doing today? Today I'm going to show you how to make a new world space. This way, if you want to make like your own little town in a different environment, you can do all that. So we're going to show you how to create a new world space. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your creation kit. You're going to go to your file, data. Now I always check all four because I always use, like in Fallout, I always use assets from all the DLCs. So once that's done, you can get away with just Skyrim ESN. There's no problem with that. I just, like I said, I use them because I like using the assets from all the DLCs. So once you've got that done, just press OK, and you're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to World, World Spaces. Right-click here in the left, hit New. Now, I highly suggest, and I do this with even my own uh, settlements, I always put a zero one ahead of it. That way, by putting a zero one or zero 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 or whatever you'd like to at the front, this will keep it right at the very top. So then you're going to need a name for your world space. So, uh, Rushdale Township. How's that? Rushdale Township. Oh, no spaces. Don't put any spaces. And there we go. So you got your 000 or your 01, whatever you'd like to put up in there. Then you hit just hit OK. So now here it is. It's all ready to go. So what we're going to do up here is we're going to put in the name. Whatever name you made for your world space. And then for parent location, you can go with Tamriel. So now all of this is all filled in for you. What I like to do is I like to use minus 200 for the height of the water. That's just my personal preference. You can experiment with it, you know, see how high you want it, how high you don't want it. And all of this is filled in. Now, the climate, whatever climate you want. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's got all these different climates. You can even do a Soul Karen climate. But I'm just going to stick with the Skyrim uh, climate. I'm not messing around with any of these because I'm not sure how they work. And I'm not messing around with any of that. So there you go. You can change your default water. What do we have for default water? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we got lots of choices for default water. But I'm just going to leave it at default water. So once you've got all that set up, just simply hit OK. Now, if you go over here and you click on the arrow, you're going to see Rush Township right at the very top. And the reason why it's right at the very top is because I did do that 01. So I'm just going to double click on it. That, and you're going to get one thing. I'm going to move this up just a little bit so we see what we're doing. You're going to get one spot here that says Wilderness. So now you're going to double click on that, and there we have it. Big empty spaces. Now you're saying, okay, well, I got water. How do I get land? <laughs> so we're going to move this back here. And what you're going to do is press your B key. And it's hard to see, do I have my light on? But you see these yellow, blocking yellow lines right here. They're very hard to see on this one. I'll zoom in because they're at the bottom. Those represent a cell. So one of these squares will equal a cell. So now what you're going to do next in order to get the land is you're going to come up to here just under where it says nav mesh. You're going to look for this like little picture. You're going to click on that. And this is going to bring up. Your landscaping tool so what you're going to do i always like setting it for 10 when i start that way i can get it all formed up so i'm going to change that to number 10 and then all you're doing you see the purple circle hold down your left mouse key and pull up just and there we go it's starting to come up now if you like to fly, i like to switch it down to five after i do this 
so I can get a little bit of tuning in. So now if you want it flattened, come up here to where it says flatten vertices, click on that, and now this will flatten it out. You could, you could spend hours, even days, just designing your own little new world space. So like I'm just going to do the one cell for now. And you're just going to going to kind of smooth it out. There we go. Now, like, say you want to go into the next cell and you want to put in a mountain. Oops. You've got to uncheck the flatten. Now, say you want to do a mountain. I'm going to move it back up to 10 so it's a little bit easier to make the mountain. And then you just pull up and you can, you know, make a mountain range. So like this is where you can have the fun by designing it. You know, once you get your design and all that, now say you want a little bit of a beach. I always go down to one when I do the beach because this way I can get the fine tuning of it, bringing it up. Actually, I'll just go, I'll stick with five. How's that? We'll stick with five. And then you can just move it up just so much. Just, just so it's just peeking through. And then what I do is I, then I switch down to one. Because what number one will do, one will give you a very fine, fine tuning. So like, oops, I guess I forgot to click flatten, didn't I? So once you click that, and then you can make kind of like a beach. Just like a little beach area. So there is tons of tons of things you can do. You play around with it and everything. Now the other thing that you might want to do is go to your very first cell. Make sure it's highlighted over here. Slowly double click on it and rename the cell. So I'm calling it Rush. Rushdale. Township. EXT for exterior number one. Click enter. So now this cell is named. Now what you have to do is make sure you come up here, the file, click on save. This will give you your ESP that you need and that you can keep going back to to work on it. So Rush, Rushdale, Space Township. And then you just hit save. And then you're going to notice up at the top, it's going to say Rushdale Township, ESP, and then also it's ESL compatible. With Settlements and New World Spaces, I found through trial and error, don't change them to ESL. They will not only mess up your saves, or possibly mess up your saves, or if another player is using this mod, if you do uh, publish it as a mod, it could mess up their saves. So it's a give and take kind of situation. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to world, come down here to cells, and then we're gonna look for the one we made up, right here, Rushdale. Now we haven't made up a location yet, but we can make up the acoustic, I'll say, and then you'll see AEXT for exteriors. And yes, we're working on the exterior, so we could use all of these exteriors. So I'm going to go with Pine Town Acoustic. And then again, music type, whatever kind of music you like. So I'm going to go with, what do I want to go with? City Discover, why not? Now, location, we haven't made up a location. But I will link my previous video on how to make locations and interior cells. That will show you how to make up a location. So you just simply put, click on apply and OK. So that's all done. Your world space is ready to be designed. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I love you. Everyone will love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. 
And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.